going to start with a question from Rajat. He's writing in from Mumbai, wants to know about uh, the Volkswagen brand taking a beating after that whole diesel scandal coming out of the US. Will it or won't it? It's a good question, Rajat, and it's one that I can tell you the entire Volkswagen board would love an answer to. Uh, the simple answer, though, is that yes, it will take a beating. It's going to take a while for the company to repair uh, some of the damage that's been done because the damage is pretty severe. Now, will that matter in a market like India? Maybe not as much as Western Europe or uh, the kind of reputation hit the brand has taken in the US. But uh, for the people who are aware, they would probably think twice about what they're buying, even though what it seems like to us right now, uh, those engines, the diesel engines that had the problem, aren't being sold here in India anyway. But yes, the brand will take a bit of a hit. Uh, it just remains to be seen how cleverly and quickly they can manage to rebuild that lost reputation. Dibya is writing in from Orissa, wants to know about the next generation Chevrolet Cruze and when we can get it in India and when you'll see it on CNB. Well, I hope you see it on CNB really soon, but uh, having said that, the car has been delayed because uh, there's been so much input that's going into the GM headquarters. The first generation Cruze was a bigger hit in some of the markets, including the home market of the United States, than perhaps even GM anticipated. And so there's more riding on the second generation. There was uh, supposed to be a start of sales in China at the middle of 2015. That didn't happen as per the uh, roadmap that was initially announced. And so which is why we expect that uh, overall, the replacement for that car worldwide will take some time. It is the left-hand drive version that will come to market first. But uh, of course, in India, we should expect it to at least start to make some sort of noise around the second half or end of 2016 and expect the car to be very well loaded when it comes to uh, infotainment and connectivity. And let's take in one more question from Ashish who wants to know if the rumors about a new Bajaj Avenger are true. Should he wait to buy one? Well, you know what Ashish? They are very true and that bike should be uh, with you sometime this month. It won't be just one bike as well. In fact, uh, I had the chance to get some information on this from uh, the man who runs Bajaj Auto, Rajiv Bajaj. And so instead of me answering that question, let me uh, get you into that conversation I had with him instead. The Avenger will sub-segment, as all leading brands do, into two segments now. Uh, there will be an Avenger in the cruising format, uh, which will be more specialized, as global brands should be, uh, towards the purpose of cruising. Uh, and there will be an Avenger, which is more suitable for city riding, like a sportster. Uh, uh, and therefore, its elements in terms of the seating posture, the handlebar, uh, some of the features of the vehicle will be more amenable, suitable and specialized to city riding. So there will be at least two Avengers uh, in the marketplace um, to fulfill these two needs.